Yo, Neff. Thank you. What you got going on? What you got going on? Exactly what you see me doing. Having a drink, finna watch the game, and I guess sit here with you. And babysit? I got some little fucking kid. I wasn't about to say that. But what you're about to make me do is beat your ass if you keep talking like that. Chill. You talk the same way. Yeah, because I'm grown. I can do that. Cursing is just a way of language. We give it meaning and make it bad when they're just words. Just like Ebonics for black people. Our people. <laughs> that makes no sense, but whatever, we'll calm the little nigga. Listen, how about we not look at it as me babysitting you and us just spending some quality time together, you know? Great. Me getting to know my nephew. That sounds so fun. Exactly. Oh, I love that. No. Listen, you ain't gotta act like that with me. I'm the cool uncle. I ain't stuck up like the rest of your family around here. I'm not sure I believe that. Well, don't you got some hair to cut or a baby to take care of? <sighs> See, now, now you're going to make me whoop your ass. Because back in my day, when I was in high school, had you had said some smart shit like that out your mouth, I'd have beat your ass in front of everybody. Because you look like a kid that's all barking, no bite. So I'm going to tell you, mind your motherfucking business and stay in a child's place. But if you must know, the baby's not due for a couple of months. And Brandon and I are working on our business. Great. Yeah, great. And maybe if you wasn't fucking up in school, you'd be outside with your friends. But guess what? You ain't here with me. Friends? Out here in Easton? Nah, niggas is mad corny. At least that's one thing we can agree on. Yeah. Definitely some cornballs out here. Fill us up. So, I mean... Tell me about yourself. I'm sure you got a girl or some girls around here on your line. Let me get some of that. Boy, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, you must be trying to get me put out or better yet killed. Seriously, I'm just, let me have a shot. Hell no. Your dad ain't having it and I'm damn sure not having it either. Mm. Now, tell me about these girls. Because I see you on your phone over there a lot. Yeah, you're supposed to be the fun one. Anyway, I got a couple of Johns, whatever, out here. They yeah, I Let me see. This one girl. <laughs> Nephew, that's you? Damn, you just like your you. uncle, I see. <laughs> I mean, she a little out of my age range, but I mean, she a good look for you. You know, I like my girls a little more well-seasoned, a little developed. Speaking of that. Yeah, babe. Shit, in here, watching the game, talking to JJ. Look, why we got to do this right now? I just told you I don't feel like talking about that. I mean, you call me at the worst time to talk about the dumb. I don't see what the big deal is. What's the little shot going to do? My bad, nephew. You know how girls can get. So where were we? This nigga sleep. JJ. JJ, wake up. JJ, get your ass up. What's wrong with you? 
What's up, uh? JJ, did you? JJ, what the hell happened? Uh, oh, I had a few sh uh, uh, Two. Two shots. Two shots? Nigga, that's enough to get you lit. You ain't nothing but 80 pounds soaking wet. So what? I'm in the house. What's the problem? The problem? The problem is your father's going to kill you. Better yet, me. Oh, my. Will he kill you? Are you going to snitch? Nigga, I ain't no snitch. But I am going to tell my brother the truth. Because you're too young to be drinking and that's simple as that. Glad to see he, you're as loyal to him as he is to you. Not. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Your mother came by. Uh, she wanted to see you and my dad. Well, he kicked her ass out. <laughs> Told me not to say anything. I said, whatever. Yo, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You just drunk. Get your ass up. <sighs> he kicks people out. He throws people away. You know how he is? You must want the same thing for me. What? Your dad would never do no shit like that to you. All right. Just your mom, though. His mom, right? JJ, get your ass up and go upstairs. Sneaky ass. Okay, whatever, dude. It's chill. JJ, get up and take your ass upstairs. We'll deal with this tomorrow. Drink this. What's this? Drink it. Ah, it's hot. Look, stop being a pussy. You uh, want it to be grown, so there you go. It's coffee. Hopefully it'll sober you up. You think it's gonna work? Yeah, it has to. I mean, this is the first time your dad to let us chill. And you get drunk? It's not that serious, dude. Chill. It is that serious. Do you know who we're talking about here? It's your dad. He'll definitely find out. Look. I still don't think it's that serious. Like, we can play it off. Your dad's not dumb. He's definitely gonna notice. Yeah, sure. So what's your plan, huh? Actually... So here's what we're gonna do. You listening? Yeah. So, I'm gonna tell him that you wasn't feeling well. Okay. I gave you some medicine. Right. And I sent you upstairs to sleep it off. Okay, so... That's it. All right, sounds easy enough. So drink that and go upstairs. All right. Hey, you got this. Yeah. I knew you were cool. <laughs> now hurry up and get upstairs. Hey, he's not even gonna know. <sighs> Hopefully. Sneaky bastard. What's up, Jerome? Don't what's up me. We need to talk. Like, now. Okay. What's on your mind? Why didn't you tell me that our mother came by the other day? Oh, that. Oh, so I guess she told you. Oh, that. You say it so calmly like it's nothing. That's because it is nothing. Jabril, it's something. And no, I didn't talk to her. So, how'd you find out? Your son got drunk and told me. Yeah, he's more like you, more than you even know. The little bastard thought he can tell me so I can shut my mouth and not say anything. Real funny, but seriously, what did she tell you? I'm being serious, bro. I was having a drink, talking to JJ, when Raven called me. So I stepped away to handle that. And when I came back, your little junior was passed out on the couch after taking two shots. So you're telling me he was drinking while he was with you? Don't try to change the subject. Why didn't you tell me that mom came by? Look, I was just trying to protect you, okay? I didn't want her to get your hopes up, only to let you down again. I don't need your protection, Jabril. Especially for my mother. That's fucked up. You know what? 
You're right. Look, I was just trying to save you some heartache and pain. You know, all that that comes with that. I apologize if I hurt you. That definitely wasn't my intent. Look, I know a mother is a fucked up person. And I know she pissed you off when she stole from you. But it's easy for you to write her off. But me, is different. She was all I knew most of my life. And I really miss her. I don't even think you understand. Look, I hear you, but I definitely don't understand. Look, she left you at your most crucial time. And then she came here and stole from me. Her popping up here now only makes me think she's up to something again. Well, if she is up to something, then I'll be able to tell. I know her best. Well, do what you want. I don't want anything to do with her. I guess that's fair. Look, she gave me this. I was going to cash it and give it to you. I don't know, for the baby, for the shop, whatever. Do what you want with it. <clears throat> Where did she even get all of this money from? Right. Yeah, she's definitely up to something. Yep, and I don't want no parts. I think you should keep this stuff. Take it. You know what happened last time you gave me some money? Yeah, forgot about that. Uh, so, what are we going to do about JJ? <laughs> now that one is definitely going to be a problem. JJ, come here. We'll bring the lights downstairs. And if this don't work, I'm going to beat his ass next time. <laughs> what's up? Don't what's up me. You were drinking again? Oh, really? So you are a snitch. I told you I wasn't about to let you play me again. Look, master manipulator. Look, Jer Gerald, I got this. JJ, this is a household, okay? Of course you just want to tell me. You're not grown. Look, I am really trying to make this work with you here, but you are running my patience very thin. And if you keep acting up, you're just not going to have no privileges. All right, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. And... And I'm sorry I put you in it. It's more like it. Go upstairs, and pack up that PlayStation, what? and the Xbox, and your phone, <sighs> Come on. and put it in my bedroom. Till when? Until I feel like giving it back to you. You heard what he said, go. What did you say? Look, he's playing with me, okay? Go upstairs. That's more like it. Man, I tell you, you got your hands full with that one. But you did the right thing by punishing her. And I'll be sure to stick to your rules while you're not around. Maybe with both of us on this ass, that'll make a act right. Yeah, either that'll make it worse. Don't touch me. It's nice to finally see you after two years. I'm surprised your girl even told you after the way he treated me. But what do you expect, Ma? I mean, you just stole from him, and you ran out on us when I needed you the most. On my deathbed, in a coma, you left me. I was there. It was too much for me. I, I, I couldn't do it. I had to leave. But, but I'm here now. I'm sorry. You don't get it. Do you understand how much pain and anguish I was in? Do you even realize that you lost your grandkids? Do you even care? I'm so. Of course I do. I'm sorry. I'm here now, Philip. You no, know, but, but at least you're having a baby with Raven. And what does that mean? That means it's great and I'm happy for both of you. I don't fucking believe you. I'm so tired of you disappointing me time and time again. Okay, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? 
Okay, your brother's starting to rub off on you. And he's just like his father, Baron. Well, can you blame him? I mean, if it wasn't for Jabril, I don't know where I would be. And where'd you even get the money to pay him back anyway? My husband. My very rich husband. What? Jackpot. Jackpot? What kind of scheme are you running now? The ultimate one. I'm going to be honest. I've really missed you. And I want you a part of my life. Hell, I want you a part of your grandchild's life. But I don't want to be mixed up in no shit. Okay. Just keep in mind that I'm always going to be your mother. Okay? I'm number one before those bitches. And you know that money I gave Jabril? That's just a drop in the bucket. There's a whole lot more where that came from. So, who is this husband of yours? Lawrence. And what does Lawrence do? He's very successful. And I'll leave it at that. Does he know that you have two grown-ass kids? Oh, he knows everything. I don't know. I, I'm happy you're here. Then again, I'm mad. I feel so many different things. But all in all, I'm happy to see you. And I'm glad you're at least doing okay. I want us to get better. Seriously. Maybe you should go. I don't want your girl to come and see you here. Kick both of us out. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. Um, that's the start. Thank you for seeing me. It was great seeing you. Yeah. Feeling mutual. Then go. So my mom made it back in town. Oh, she did? Yeah. You don't sound too happy about it. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I'm happy to see her, but then again, I'm pissed off because she left me when I needed her the most. And then on top of that, she comes back around talking about she's married to some rich man now. Married? <laughs> Maybe she could give you some money now. Ha ha, really funny. <laughs> You're funny. But actually, I have some money. Jabril's holding it for me. Money from where? Don't worry about all of that. Okay, fine. She gave it to me. Oh. Guess that's her way of trying to make amends or whatever she want to call it. Hmm. Well, it came at the right time. So I guess it's not bad after all. Sure. You won't know what's crazy? Hmm. Never in a million years would I think that money will come between us. I mean, we've been through so much shit together. Baby, you're failing to realize it's not the money. It's the responsibility. You say it like I'm irresponsible. I mean, I know I fuck up sometimes, but I handle my business. I really wish you could understand the position that I'm in. I do. And that's why I just want to bring out the best in you. That's why I push you so much. I bring up the baby a lot, but it's not really about the baby. It's about us and our... <clears throat> hey, JJ. Whatever. Don't be disrespectful. He's salty because he keeps fucking up and he's on punishment. Salty? You snitched on me. Don't worry about that, though. Payback's a bitch. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, let me not say that. You might tell on me. No, how about next time I take matters into my own hands and beat your little legs? All right, all right. JJ, who are you talking to like that? Don't worry about it. Show some respect. He's mad because he keeps fucking up in school and he got caught drinking again and Jabril dug in his ass. I was just having some fun at school. That's it. So what about the other night? Just a couple sips, but he snitched on me. Okay. okay. Drinking? But how old are you anyway? None of your business. 16. 16? There you go, snitching again. Shut up. Listen, JJ. You are staying in this house with your uncle, your father, and his husband. And you need to respect every adult that speaks to you. You understand me? Respect? You don't know what to think about it. You respect me when you snitch on me, knowing my dad doesn't even like me? That's that is not, not true. true. Y'all don't know anything about what you're talking about, seriously, or what I've been going through. You know what? I'm done. Can you believe him? Yo, he's a ticking time bomb. Yeah, but I kind of get where he's coming from. Do you? Yes. How? I was in foster care. <laughs> nobody actually cared about me. Like, nobody. I was a check to damn near every family. Even though it's a different situation for him, he's never really been with his dad like that. So, I mean, he's probably just confused. He has to make a whole bunch of new friends. He's trying to fit in. There's a lot going on with him. I guess, when you put it that way, it is a new environment, and mm -hmm. he does have to get acquainted with new people, but I mean, I just want him to know that I care for him, and I'm sure Jabril does too, even though he has a hard time showing it. He'll understand. Hopefully sooner than later, but I'll be sure to give our baby all the loving care it deserves. Yes, please, and just let Jabril deal with his son the best way he can. They got to figure out their rhythm. And we got to figure out ours. I guess. I could use him for some practice, though. Nuh-uh. -uh, that's a badass kid. I'm not going to wear off on my baby. <sighs> well, hey, little feisty. You all right? Do you have somewhere to go? I do. And you should be lucky your ass got somewhere to stay. Now, I know exactly what you're going through, okay? I get it. You get it? What do you mean you don't know me? You don't know what I've been through. You gonna listen? I was in foster care most of my life. Okay. I was never in foster care. What's it got to do with me? I told you to listen. So, I was in foster care most of my life until I was able to be on my own and take care of myself. At that point, I came to Easton and I was here on the wrong agenda, not wanting to deal with anybody in this family. I didn't even know anything about this family, to be honest. I was here with a bunch of resentment and abandonment, just upset. I don't want that to be you. I do want to love my family. But I want the same thing back. We do love you. Look, I know it may seem like Jabril's probably the hardest person to get along with, hard to stand, everything. I totally understand that. But he loves you. Trust me. You wouldn't be in this house if he did then why do I feel like everyone keeps ganging up on me? Like, I'm the bad guy. Because it takes a village to raise a child. All of us are going to be here to make sure that you're all right. To make sure that you're taking the right path. All these other things. I mean, listen. <sighs> Jabril helped me out in my time of need and I didn't even think that he would. He was the last person in the back of my head that I would ever think that would look after me. Him, my mom, our grandfather. 
because that's what family does. So, I need you to man the fuck up, pull some respect and manners out of your ass, okay? And, you know, get used to what's going on around here. Open your mind up. Don't be so upset. Because I need somebody to help me with this baby. And um, just like me, it'll be the first person in this family that you'll know from the start. So what you say? I appreciate you talking to me. I appreciate you listening, not being such a rude ass. Man, y'all should have seen how Jabril snatched JJ ass up. It was so funny. Mm-hmm. I can't believe he put his hands on him. I can't. I mean, he really? didn't really beat him, but he did snatch him up. I thought it was funny. Oh, Shit. He deserved it. <laughs> Whatever he did. Oh, sure he he deserved deserved it. Yeah, for sure. What? What's going on? Uh-huh. Talking about you. Me? Yeah, I was pretty much telling them how your dad snatched you up the other day, and I thought it was funny as hell. Jarrell. What? I did. Stop. He's lucky I didn't call the police. The police? Boy, why nobody calling the police? Shut your ass up. You actually deserve it because you're disrespectful and rude as hell. Really? If I call child services, he'll know not to put his hands on me again. I never got a beating in my life and I ain't going to start now. Right, and JJ agreed that he's going to meet me halfway. And this is halfway? It's a start. What I don't understand is how supposed adults want so much but give so little. Supposed? You have a roof over your head, Uh clothes on your back, and food in your mouth. You even go to a rich school. What else do you need? Another ass whooping. And you may be okay with the bare minimum, but I'm not. I swear I'm about to beat his ass. Boy, the bare minimum. First of all, you have more than any of us at this table ever had at your age. (laughs) Then why does he have a job? Uh -uh, uh -uh, Uh-uh, uh-uh. That is not your business. Your business is to go to that rich ass school that your daddy pays for. Go to college, and then you're going to have a wonderful, amazing job waiting for you afterwards. Now, you need to relax and chill out. Like I said before, pull the manners and some respect out your ass. We just had a talk the other day. Okay, all, all right. Uh, well, can, can me and JJ talk alone, please? Yeah, alone? Oh, yeah, talk to him. Talk to him. But I'm going to let you know this. If this talk don't work... I'm beating his ass. What's up? He's gonna stress me his baby out. I'm hungry. Come and sit down. We take a few steps forward to get knocked back down a few. Why? Why? My dad. I'm getting to know the person he is. Unforgiving. Unaccepting. That's not true. You didn't see what he did to his mom. He just put her out like she was nothing. What kind of a person even does that? Look, you don't really know the history between them two. But Corinna's done a lot of bad things to Jabril. I'm sorry he put his hands on you. I don't condone that. That's why y'all need to continue going to counseling. I just hate this family. Look, trust me, I understand. But you have to learn how to communicate better. Instead of lashing out, it's hurting, not helping. I really, really don't think it's a good idea for me to be here. Look, man. I'm here. Everything's going to be okay, Adi. You just got to do your part. Okay? I'm here for you. All right. So I brought you guys here today because, as y'all know, Fallon is the grandmother, and she wants to throw the baby shower. What? And since Brandon is the godfather. Wait a minute. Just because he's a preacher doesn't make him a good godfather. And why is she throwing the baby shower? It should be me. The hell with that. He's a man. He don't know nothing about no baby. And who is the godmother? Alora. 
Why? Like, that works. Because we both thought that she would be a good fit. What? You're still thinking and you have no job. Shut up. Why is she the guy's mother? Because we both feel as though that Aloha would be a great role model to our daughter. But I don't think she would be a daughter? A girl? Oh! Baby Raven. Baby Raven. But you should name her. Uh, Yes. It's a girl. We weren't going to tell anyone right now because we wanted everybody to be in one room. But what does everybody need to be here for? I know. That's good enough. (laughs) Well, we wanted Jabril and JJ here. Mm -hmm. JJ's a kid. What what does he care? Because he's new to the family and we want to make him a part. Yeah. Anyway. My granddaughter. And my daughter will always be fine because they'll always have me. I really don't know what the issue is. If I don't give the baby shower, it's going to end up being in the projects in some community center messing around with you. And hopefully that keeps you away. No, I have bodyguards. Violin, you away. the issue is you. You would. Oh, you agree with them? Just stay in the obvious. Oh, my issue. Yeah, and since we're, you know, on the subject of you, why don't you like me? Yeah, me too. What's your issue with me? I really don't have an issue with you. Uh, Really? I've never really had an issue with you. It's just that when my brother was gone for so long, I thought that when he returned, we would make our bond stronger. But now I'm sitting around competing with a fairy for my brother's attention. Fine. It's no competition. Hmm. He loves us both equally. He doesn't. He does. So what's your issue with me? You know, I really never really had an issue with you. I actually like you. I still do like you. You're a good dude, Jerome. You're just lazy as hell. You know, my, my, I'm going to be honest. I'm angry with my son. I'm angry that he didn't step up to the plate and take care of his responsibility. And then Noah dies. I just needed someone to direct my anger at. And you were convenient. And no, you didn't deserve it. You didn't. I, I'm actually appreciative that you stepped up and took care of someone else's child. That's very commendable. I appreciate it. Close your mouth before flying. I'm. Wow. You give a compliment? Yes. Because. I don't know. My, my granddaughter is coming in. It's making me feel a little warm inside. <laughs> And I just, I just want the best for her. I can put my feelings aside for my baby, for Raven's baby. Okay. Well, I guess this is hopefully a new start for all of us. I hope so. New start, new life, hopefully new job. And I'm the godfather. (laughs) Yes. Yes. We're going to be one big happy family. Yeah, hope it's the best. Yes. I need to speak to you. That's Auntie Valen. Auntie Valen? Private me. Since when did he start making demands? Right now. Oh, what? Oh, well, I guess he told you. I We're swear. Just, can you come? I'm not going anywhere. Thing. Y'all get up, leave, it's, and let the boy sit down. All right, okay. let's go. I'm gonna go. <sighs> Why are you sitting here staring in my face? I'm hoping you're sitting here thinking of a way to apologize to my brother. You've been very disrespectful. Yeah, he told me everything that you've been doing. Tell me this. Why'd you keep me a secret? What the hell are you talking about? Why did you make my mother keep me a secret from my father? Who 
Who told you that? Dad. <sighs> okay. Okay. Hmm. At the time when I found out that your mother was pregnant with you, it was a bad time. She was a model. She was drinking and drugging and partying every night. And she really didn't care about your father. You were just a walking means to an end. And your father was struggling with his sexuality. He didn't know whether or not he wanted to be a musician, write music, open up a music store. And then he left. He left me. He left both of us. You have to understand My father would always play Jabril and I against one another. And if anyone found out that Eve was carrying Jabril's child, honey, you would have been in the way. So you had to. You are a bitch. I mean, you asked me a question. So when you ask questions, you need to be prepared for the answer. Now, I'm sorry you're emotional, but you're a part of this dysfunctional family now. So if you want me to continue to tell you why I told your mother to leave, say the word. I'll tell you everything you want to know because I'm sure your father won't. I really wanted a relationship with my mother. You miss her, huh? What do you think? I think you're at a 10 and I need you at a two. JJ, I'm sorry. But back then, I wasn't willing to let anybody get in my way. I mean, you turned out to be healthy. I'm surprised. But no, your mother had to go. You're gonna keep insulting my mother? Um, if I feel like it. But I'm telling you the truth. I am. I know how to get in contact with her. But you're going to change your attitude if you need a favor from me. You know, despite how crazy all this does sound, I believe you are telling the truth. Oh. oh. I always tell the truth. Sometimes. And just like my grandfather, I believe I can take over. Well, it's good to be hopeful. Believe in yourself at all times. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. Go clean your face up. Well, I was really hoping, or dare I say, praying that things would be permanent this time. What things? Our truths. Us talking about things. Making decisions together. What are you talking about? You turning JJ against me. Wait, how did I do that? Uh, by telling him that I didn't tell you that I knew about him. Well, look, he asked me and I told him the truth. Well, I didn't go into detail the way I could have went into detail. Look, he deserves to know the truth. Uh... Yeah, but now I'm obligated to go get Eve. Wait, what? He said he wanted some questions answered. And I said, okay, I'll find her. But to be honest, I don't want to, but he needs to know his mother. <sighs> yeah, that's coming more and more obvious to me every day. <sighs> I mean, all this could have been so much more easier if... Don't you dare do that shit. That's water under the bridge. And besides, we can't change our mistakes. 
And did you forget that you found Julian and didn't tell me? Oh, the pass is always convenient when you want to use it, isn't it? Hmm, all right. All right. I don't want to argue. I have to be honest. I'm feeling our new family dynamic. Happily dysfunctional. Mm, yeah, and JJ making it hard for me at every turn. He just wants your attention. That's all. <sighs> yeah, but he also needs to realize that this is a process for me, too. I'm not even sure I'm cut out for all of this, actually. <laughs> what parent is? I mean, and especially because you didn't have him from the beginning. So don't beat yourself up about it. Well, I wonder if Dad felt this way about me. Oh, Dad is a whole other person. And speaking of Dad, JJ had the nerve to tell me that he thinks that he can run the family business like Dad did. That's another thing that scares me. The fact that he thinks that and the fact that he actually may. <laughs> oh, no.